everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be recreating a set of nails that were originally by at get buff nails her set is bloody amazing i've had it screenshot in my phone for a long time and i thought because i've got creators block at the moment i was like right i'm going to recreate those so i've got some madam glam colors there are four colors that i use but i've only got three here so these are the nails aren't they bloody amazing so she used a yellow and i've used a yellow from madam glam i think it's called something honey or honey something it might even be called just honey i can't remember and um, i'm going to do this on tips and this color here so for the background we're going to do an ombre using four colors the four is these three plus the yellow what i can't remember what it is the first one that i'm using is called boss babe and this is like a corally orange a pastel corally orange oh yawning <laughs> so this is going to be the bottom of our ombre or sunset whatever you want to call it so much noise going on outside today i can't honestly it's driving me bananas then above that we're gonna go in with the uh, pink which is madame glam's spring petals i really like this one it's really nice pastely pink perfect for spring and actually summer so this is going to go above boss babe And then above Boss Babe, we're going to put our blue, which is Pure Cloud. So this is a pastel blue. Again, it's one of my favourites, actually. I think I use this one quite a lot. Or well, have done, used it quite a lot recently. If you look back on my Madame Glam videos, I think this one, I think, I can't remember. I remember, I know I've seen it a lot lately. <laughs> okay, so using my Natalie Mugridge um, Nail Sugar Detailer Brush, uh, we'll be back in stock very soon by the way first week of june this is going to be back on the nail sugar website um if you do want to purchase one save 10 percent using my code natmug10 as well so i can't even remember how much it is it's about 12 pounds but you'll get 10 percent off so it'll be like 10 pound 80 not 80 10 pounds 80 um so where the colors meet i'm just flicking my brush backwards and forwards just to blend the colors slightly now don't forget this is only the first coat so you don't have to be anal about this one this one can look this one can look a little bit unblended still and in fact i quite like if there are some uh what do you call it like like where the colors haven't quite blended and you get the, the stripes across i think that looks quite nice on a night sky Although I'd say this is probably early evening. No, yes, as the sun is setting. So it's not quite gone down, you know? I don't know. Anyway, right, so we've gone in with our second coat now. So we've repeated the colours. And now we're going to, again, flick backwards and forwards. If you want to, you can use an ombre brush to do this. I just used my detailer brush because I've got three colours quite close together. And I didn't want to make a mess because I have a habit of doing that sometimes. Um, but when I swap from the Boss Babe to Spring Petals to Spring Petals to Pure Cloud, I do just wipe my brush between a bit of kitchen, you know, paper towel stuff, um, just to wipe the excess gel polish off, because you don't want to contaminate the, you know, you don't want to contaminate the, the blends. Okay, now I am going to finish this. I'm going to do the same thing over all five nails. So I'm going to do the other four. And you got something like this. So I need to... <laughs> Can you see I've added the yellow as well to the very ends? Now I'm going to use Nelkami's Artisan Gel Paint in white to create. Now initially I thought these were, I thought these were like airplane lines. You know when airplanes leave that, that's that sort of jet of, you know they leave smoke behind, not smoke, but that white puff behind them like they farted and it's going poof and it's just like left that white poof, you know i thought it was that but it's not aren't there white aren't there lights behind the hollywood signs so if i was to do this again i would have made the light lines a lot more um, I, don't, I didn't do a very good job here but basically what i done to create the light lines is i put a line of the artisan gel paints you can do this with gel polish don't even know why i used the gel paints you can use gel polish see they're not they're not even straight 
Now this is what I thought, because I thought they were airplane lines, like a tit. So I was like, I don't have to worry too much about them being straight. And yeah, and um, duh. So now what I'm doing is, <laughs> you can use isopropyl alcohol, but I used acetone to do this. I'm just patting the line carefully. I don't want it to spread too much. I'm just putting a bit more color on as well because I just felt like that was a little bit too, I tapped a little bit too much. So I just want to, yeah, see this is, can you see, this is what I was trying to make a, a, you know, like, you know what I mean, the stuff that leaves the back of the aeroplane. I was, I was trying to make it look like that. Now, if I'd have known it was supposed to be a light, I probably would have done it slightly different. But never mind, never mind, it kind of, you get the gist. So I'm going to do this along this other line too and then once I've done these two I do cure it in the lamp I'll just give it a quick flash cure because we are going to be adding some more of these so if you feel like it's too wide then just go up the side and try and remove some of the the white okay I'm gonna pop that in the lamp now to flash, blah, 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 flash cure <laughs> And then I'm going to do some more lines. So I, I was, um, for freak's sake, I do cross over them. I do cross some over a bit. Cross the streams. Wasn't that from Ghostbusters? You can't cross the streams or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we want to make them as well. We want them to match. We want them to line up. Like if you put the nails together, you want the, the lines to, to match. And then I'm just gonna repeat that same sort of it's almost like a like a make it make a smoky look but we don't really want a smoky look because it's supposed to be <gasps> Ooh, where did that come from it's supposed to be um, light not aeroplane puffs poof, poof, you know so I'm just gonna let you watch this and I will get back to you in a second Okay, so I am vaguely happy with that. I think I might add a couple more lines on. Can't remember. No, I don't know that I do. Um, but I've cured it all in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I am using Madame Glam's Perfect Black. It's got its clinker back on its bottom. Got it off now. Can't say it's got a clinker on there anymore. Um, I'm going to use this to create the hills. So I want to. I want them to kind of follow along. Um, this one didn't quite match up with the with the next one when I put them together. Um, and now also, right, I need to explain to you about um, the whole holyoid thing because <laughs> if you look at her nails again, she turns, she must turn the, the client's hands upside down to write Hollywood so that when the client looks at her nails, it spells out Hollywood. Now I'm doing it so that if someone else were to look at your nails, it would spell out Hollywood. So I am, I am, I am having to write Hollywood on the narrower part of the nails, which is why <laughs> I struggle to fit the whole word in. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and I'm going to go with, an, uh, with another coat. So do bear in mind when you realise that mine look really bizarre because they don't, they do spell Hollywood, but you can't see one of the L's and you can't see the middle of the W because... I done it funny because there was not enough room. <laughs> Cure that again for 30 seconds. Then she has got palm trees either side of her Hollywood sign. So to do my palm trees, I find palm trees one of the most easiest things to do in the whole wide world. And I absolutely bloody love doing them. So I kind of create a bird and then I, I do it depends you I don't even know how many of these they, they've got a name I can't remember the bits that are sticking out the palm tree they're like big leaves but they're not anyway once you've done your amount of legs I'll call them legs then you want to add the little little leaves coming off the big leaf there was a word someone told me in fact people have told me twice because I've this is the third time I've forgotten so you want to just start adding the detail to your palm tree now i it's, i just i love these and i think they look amazing afterwards it's something so simple and it looks it almost looks like i'm not i don't mean to i'm not 
can't speak. I'm not like, I don't mean to hoot my own horn, but they almost look, they almost look decally, you know, like I've stuck a sticker on or a decal, you know? That's how, that's how much I love doing these and how easy I find them. It's just, you do have to work, like I do, I often have to hold the nail really cl close to my face to see what I'm doing. But as long as you do it in little teeny tiny strokes and don't flood your brush, you're going to be all right. It's going to work out. Then, obviously, the palm tree needs a stalk. I was going to say stalk. It does not need a stalk. It needs a... It's not a log. A trunk. A tree trunk. Yes. Gosh, I tell you what, you'd think it's Friday because I'm not functioning great. My brain just doesn't want to work. <laughs> I'm gonna do another little one coming off the side like half a palm tree and we're not gonna give this one a trunk because it's gonna be out of we're not gonna we're not gonna see it so just look lots of little tiny flicky flicks lots of little tiny flicky flicks not Netflix flicky flicks I made a bit of a boo-boo there but you can I mean look you can just go over it it's so easy there we go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So we've got two trees again on this side. And that will cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Right now we're going to write the word holyoid. 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 So, Hollywood. I start with the Y because that is the letter that's in the very centre of the whole word. Hollywood. Yes, it is. H-O-L-L-Y wood. Yep. Now, I tried to make them... It's really difficult, it was. Really, really difficult. I wanted to make them look nice and squared off. Not, not rounded. I didn't want the ed edges rounded. Now, I was really not struggling, but it took me ages to do this set of nails because I wanted this Hollywood to be perfect and it still looked shite. So this is the side, one side of the W. Can you see? Right, so I'm putting one side of the W on. And then this will be, this will be one L. I'll leave you just to watch this bit for a minute. Any parts that you're not happy with, you can just use a detailer, uh, not a detailer brush, like a cleanup brush, just to wipe any bits off. But once I have made that as straight and neat as I think I can get it, I will pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Uh, it's just a quick flash cure. Then on this one, oh, I was trying to put, I was thinking there's no way I'm going to put an H, O, and an L on there, but I did try. Um, but I'll show you, I'm going to fast forward this bit and I'll show you what I was left with. <laughs> So I just managed to fit the O one. There's no way I was going to get another L on. So I was like, right, we're just going to go with this. <laughs> then I had to do the other side. Um, so I've got half of the W on there. I've got an O and half of the other O. I'm not gonna, I didn't wanna show you me doing the whole thing because I thought it would just take absolutely ages. So that's a, a, a woo missing a half the W. And then I thought, right, because there's no way I can get the D on that. I was like, I'm going to have to spread it onto the fourth nail. So I wish I'd spread it over the five nails um, in the end. But never mind. You live, you learn, don't you? I still wanted to show you the sex. I still really liked it. Even though, even though it doesn't make sense. Unless you live in Holywood, not Hollywood. So yeah, I'm just going to fast forward this bit. <laughs> Uh, 
Again, any mess I make, I'm just going to clean up. I've just This is just an old brush that I've dipped in um, some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just going to use that to just to wipe up my mess. So this is the D. I wanted to slightly curve the corners. I think you can tell it's a D. And then, so that's that. Uh, it doesn't look like Hollywood. It looks like holy oid oid, holy oid, dude. I don't know how you spell it. Uh, I don't know how you spell it, but I don't know what I've done here. <laughs> I cure the gel paints for a full 60 seconds. Then I decide to go in with a coat of Madame Glam's base coat before I go in with the velvet matte top coat because I've done some hand painted, um, it's, it's been hand painted. Uh, of the, I've put the hills on, I've put the palm trees on and I've put the Hollywood sign on. I was worried that if I just went in straight in with that top coat that the nails would be bumpy it doesn't matter all right it does not matter in the slightest but when i put these up on my instagram i like the line of light to be as perfect as it could possibly be not that i'm gonna get one because these are <laughs> matte finished which i didn't really think about at the time <laughs> but if you decide to do them shiny um go in with some base coat and then when you have put base coat on i like to just hold the nails upside down for a few seconds just to let the gel the uh, base coat settle a bit before i pop them into the lamp like this and then i'll pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds now that's out i am going to go over with the velvet matte top coat from madame glam did i say nail come earlier i meant madame glam i don't know i didn't Silly sausage. So this is just going to give the nail. I think they look really nice, Matt. But I like shiny too. Um, I did ask the difficult question the other day: Would you prefer matte or shiny um, for the rest of your life? And it was a tough one. But yeah, I did decide. I did decide shiny, and quite a few people decided shiny too. Actually, look at my shiny teeth. Not that I don't know where I, I don't know why I say that. Oh, this is top coating time. It's top coating time. I don't know I just get really annoyed with myself when I say that and actually funnily enough some of you said you think it's a bit funny how I say it so I was like oh it's not completely annoying then <laughs> oh dear so once we have done again I'm gonna hold them upside down for a few seconds just to level out that velvet matte top coat and then I will pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds so that's I guess that's what they would look like if they were shiny <clears throat> but this is what they look like because they're matte here they are i will oh, i'm so gutted it's spell it looks like it spells holyoid holyoid anyway that is them <laughs> i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to check out at buff at get buffed nails on instagram her nails are bloody amazing um and i will see you lovely lot tomorrow with a new video even though i haven't got one ready <laughs> haven't even got one done actually <laughs> i better get my finger out okay see you tomorrow love you bye